Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. Remember, we're in Matthew chapter 8, and Jesus has been performing ministry in a place called Capernaum. It's situated on the northwest part, northwest shore of the Sea of Galilee. He's been there for a while, and now the crowds are really pressing in around him because he's performed miracles, he's cast out demons, he healed Peter's mother-in-law at Peter's household in Capernaum. Now you'd think, okay, he stuck around there and he conducted ministry for a long time. But this is what Matthew 8 Verse 18 says, now when Jesus saw a crowd around him, you'd think the next part of this verse would say he performed more miracles or he gave incredible teaching, but it doesn't say that. Listen to what it says. Now when Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to his disciples to go over to the other side. So he said, guys, get in the boat. We're going to go to the other side of the lake. And I'm sure the disciples were wondering, well, pfft, look, at there's all these people around. Aren't you going to help them out? Aren't you going to heal their diseases? Nope, Jesus wanted to move on. Now, why is that? I want you to think about that. Jesus went to the other side for many different reasons. Number one, he was going to perform an incredible miracle in the middle of a storm. But number two, um, when he got to the other side of the lake, there were more people to minister to, more teachings to give, more miracles to perform. And so he went to the other side of the lake so that his popularity the knowledge about who he was would grow. Also, as he performed miracles in various places around the shore of the Sea of Galilee, around Galilee itself, that validated all the more that he was who he claimed to be. So that when he died and rose again and hung out for 40 days and then ascended, there were so many people who had an eye-to-eye, face-to-face encounter with Jesus the Messiah so that they could validate, I saw those miracles too. I saw him perform incredible things. He has to be. He must be. I'm convinced he is the son of God. So there was more ministry to perform and more validation that needed to be given that he was who he claimed to be. So this is why Jesus moved around and didn't just stay in one location. Now, what did they travel in when they went to the other side? They went in a boat. Interestingly, um, about 20 years ago, Archaeologists found this boat entrenched in mud on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. The the water was way down. There was this little jagged edge of this boat sticking out of the mud. They unearthed it, and lo and behold, they did carbon-14 dating on it, and the boat was 2,000 years old. Many theologians and scholars believe that, indeed, this is about the size of the boat that Jesus traveled around on the Sea of Galilee in. Yeah, so, wow, how incredible is that? And it's interesting, They when they unearthed it, they encased it in like foam, and then they lifted it up with a crane, and then they moved it over. They built this museum. The, the roof of the museum wasn't finished, so they took the, the crane, they loaded the boat, had it up in the air, and then lowered it gradually down into the museum and then put the roof on it. You can see the boat there, and it's so interesting. There's this like museum that they hold you in, and you can only go in like every 15 minutes or so. And finally, when it's time for you to go into the room where the boat is, you know, the doors open, the curtain widens, and there's this Disney-esque music that goes, oh! (laughs) And I got to admit, I was moved. When I went into that room, I thought, man, maybe this is the boat that Jesus traveled around in on the Sea of Galilee. How cool is this? But then I thought, you know what? My faith is not based on this. My faith is not based on the Shroud of Turin. My son, my oldest son, interestingly, had an interview with the the foremost knowledgeable guy about the Shroud of Turin. And after listening to that interview, I'm convinced the Shroud of Turin is the real deal. That's the burial cloth of Christ. I mean, there's a lot of evidence that it is. Now, a lot of people base their faith on these relics, right? And our faith is not based on relics. It's not based on the Shroud of Turin or the Jesus boat in Galilee. Our faith is based on Jesus Christ. Our faith is based on the Word of God. When Jesus gave this incredible prayer, um, this high priestly prayer in John chapter 17, he said this about his disciples. He said, Lord, sanctify them in your truth. And then he said this, the Shroud of Turin is true. <laughs> Um, the Jesus boat is true. No, no, he didn't say that. He said, your word is truth. 
This is why we call it daily truths, because I want to inculcate God's people with the truth of God's word. And so Jesus said it best when he said, the word of God is our foundation. The word of God is our anchor. The word of God is our guiding light. The word of God is truth. And we need truth in a world filled with all kinds of false teachings, all kinds of false theologies. We need a foundation. We need a rudder. We need an anchor. We need truth. And God's word is true. So again, this little devotion today is all about Jesus going over to the other side of the shore of the Sea of Galilee, went on the east side of the shore of the Sea of Galilee to conduct more ministry. And more ministry needed to be conducted. More validation needed to be given that he was who he claimed to be. And so he traveled all over Galilee, doing miracles, casting out demons, performing incredible things, giving marvelous teachings to validate he was who he claimed to be. And again, you look at the boat, you look at the Shroud of Turin, pretty cool, pretty neat validation that the, the, the scriptures are accurate, but the best validation that the scriptures are accurate is the testimony of the scriptures themselves. So bottom line of all this, read the scriptures, listen to daily truths, go to church to hear the word of God, because that's your foundation for life. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.